हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बेसिकली शो यू ए प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई डेवलप्ड इनसाइड नेक्स्ट जेस यूजिंग वेब स्क्रेपिंग सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट अलाउज यू टू डाउनलोड वीडियोस फ्रॉम इंस्टाग्राम गाइस सो बेसिकली दिस इज एक्चुअली द इंटरफेस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन वेयर यू कैन एंटर द पेस द यू आर एल ऑफ विच एवर इंस्टाग्राम वीडियो दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड इट विल सिंपली गिव यू द डाउनलोड लिंक्स लेट सपोज आई विजिट इंस्टाग्राम एंड लेट सपोज आई वॉन्ट दिस वीडियो I will simply copy the address of this video and simply paste this. So as I paste this address, guys, we will see in the input field there is a download button. So if I click download, it is now fetching this from the GraphQL API of Instagram, and now it will give you this video. And now you can simply click download, and it will actually download this inside your system. You can play this video. Simply MP4 video is successfully downloaded. You can play it inside inside your uh, system. So you can take any video. For example, just need to copy this address. After you copy this, simply paste it here. You can perform an unlimited number of time, guys. It is not having any kind of restriction. Simply need to paste it. You can deploy this on your own website, and it will actually uh, give you a very good revenue. so this just need to close this now just close this paste it here the link click download so it is saying instagram if the url is not valid guys then it will tell you that the url is not valid we need to paste the full url you can see for the https and now you will basically see it is fetching and now it will give you the link here it will give you this uh, video link here where you can directly users can right click click this download button to actually download the video so what it is actually doing guys it's using the graphql api of which is provided by instagram if you know and uh, we are actually making a post call using axios and cheerio library cheerio is basically a graphql Uh, scraping web scraping library we are using this cheerio library in next chairs to actually make the call in the back end this is actually the website of cheerio which is a fast flexible and elegant library for passing and manipulating html and xml so we are using this library so if you want the full source code guys of this project the link is given in the description you can purchase the full source code from paypal in united state dollar or you can go to stripe and purchase the source code in indian rupees so both the payment links are given in the description of the video and after you purchase it you will actually get a zip file which will actually contain the source code for you and this is actually all the source code will be there which is written in typescript in next chairs and we are written this in tsx syntax so this is all the components which are there these are configuration files all that stuff instagram so once you do this you just need to start this project by first of all npm i so after you extract after you make the payment you will get a zip file you just need to execute this command npm i this will install all the modules which are present required for this application inside from your package.json file automatically so once you are done you just need to run this command which is npm run dev this will start a development server on local host 3000 which i am running it inside my local system local host 3000 so it will start a local host and it will basically compile your application it will hardly take for 2 3 minutes and then it will run this application on port 3000 it is running it on local host 3000 and now if you want to product or just build it for production then what you can do is that you can run this command npm run build so what it will do if you want to deploy this on a real domain name or hosting simply run this npm run build what it will do it will create a build folder right in the if you see it will create a build folder in it will create a optimized production build for your application and we are basically using uh, next js if you see we are using next js 14 version at the recording of this video so it is compatible with the latest version of next js as well but the minimum version should be 14 version so after that you can use that so in this way 
you can use that and uh, now I will basically show you guys actually the form code how I we are actually making the request here so what we are doing right here let me open the this is actually you will see we are actually using the GraphQL API this is actually we are doing it if you see we are uh, scraping it from Instagram to actually fetch these downloaded links of the video so we are actually making a request to this endpoint if you see https www.instagram.com slash api slash graphql so this is an actual endpoint from which we are actually making the request to actually fetch the download links so here we are actually just providing the additional headers which are required for this if you see for actually we are actually making a post request if you see to this api url and passing these headers the encoding data and timeout like this so our form is located inside this folder guys if you want to see the form basically the form I think is located inside here yeah. this is the main UI of the application it is located in the components folder Instagram and Instagram form dot TSX if you open this file and I will basically code this straight away for you and show to you step by step which uh, basically what it is doing so what I will do is that I will simply delete this form so as you delete this form guys and replace it with let's suppose sample what so if you just do it basically it is it will say that it will compile your application as you make any sort of changes it will take some time for the changes to take place and uh, just compiling it so just give it a second it's a com it's a big application so it takes some time for the changes to take place so now what we need to do is that we just need to it is compile not found so basically it is saying that nothing is present right here if you see so now what we need to do is that we just need to actually make the form so for building the form guys it's very easy in the form what we need to do we are actually using bootstrap as well, uh, sorry tailwind css as well for making this application ui so we have actually a form element and what this form element does is we have the actual class class name and this class name basically having flex w full which width will be full max width 3 xl flex column item center and basically we are attaching a on submit to it so when we click the submit button we are actually invoking this method handle submit so this function will execute and inside this we will actually have a div element which will have these classes width full flex column item center and uh, gap to medium devices will be flex row and inside this we will actually use the input field component so this component if you see it is basically need to pass something as you can see at the top we are including this input field component from the components that we built in the ui folder if you check the ui folder we have different components already pre-built alert component download button component icon input field all these components are pre-built so basically if we are actually using this component and this component takes uh, basically we need to pass ID to it so that we can track whichever URL input we can give it type will be of URL placeholder we need to say paste the Instagram URL here and then the title we can even give which is Instagram video download URL input and the value 
will be equal to the post URL and we will basically bind the on change so whenever the value changes we will execute this inline function we will make set post url we have made a hook here or react here hook whatever eat target dot value so whatever user writes it will automatically be equal to so one other thing we also need to assign is loading so is loading will be the current value of is loading whether it's true or false, it's a boolean parameter and handle clear. So whenever the user clicks the clear button, the it will reset the form. We will give it some classes. One such class will be 50 pixel height, W full, rounded border, gray 400. Text will be small and focus whenever the it is focus we will change the ring color to white on medium devices the text will be base auto complete there is an option we will set it to on and auto focus will be on and it should be required so these are all the fields which are passed guys to this input field and if you see if you refresh now basically there will be a input field out there there will be you can see that there will be this input field which will be present so I just wanted to show you guys basically the step by step things what I will do is that I will simply reset the code so that it doesn't take too much time I just want to explain the working of this code how this code works basically which thing is doing what So if I just paste this now, so you can see it will automatically detect and it will start this application. So it's a pretty big application guys. So once you start this, it will take some time. So don't panic. So just execute the command npm rendev. You will get a message once your application is compiled and it will refresh automatically. So we are also using this download button. Sometimes empty catch and hard reload, right click and also do this as well. It will also clear out the catch as well. So basically you can paste anything, click. So what I will do is that guys, basically I will show you after you purchase it, you will actually get this zip file. If you see, you will actually get this zip file, Instagram video downloader. And I will basically show you from scratch what you need to do after you purchase. So you will get this zip file. What do you need to do? You need to cut this zip file and paste it in a folder, whichever folder you want to create your application. Let me create a new folder here. Uh, new folder Insta Downloader and paste it Insta Downloader. Just extract the content of the zip file. Simply click Extract All and it will basically extract all the things which are present in this. So once it is done, what we need to do? We need to go into this folder 
and simply run this commands npm i this will actually install all the modules which are present in this package.json file guys so it is compatible with react.js is necessary node.js is also necessary for this project and minimum of 14 version of next.js is required to build the application so make sure that you should have next.js 14 installed it is compatible with all the latest versions available so it will hardly take 2-3 minutes to install all the dependencies depends upon the internet connection how much internet connection that you have so the beauty of this guys it works unlimited number of times so no API key is involved so if you open code dash if you open it in VS code so what now we need to simply we need to say npm run dev it will start the development server so just it will take some time for it to load and for some reason guys if it is not working you just need to go to a thing right here let me show you utils I think it is you can see it has started localhost 3001 in the port number let me just uh, stop this application right here close this so you can see it takes some time guys for the compilation process because it's not straightforward it's not a small application various things are going on so it takes some time for the compilation so just wait if you are doing it for the very first time and if for some reason it is not working there is a thing that you need to enable so make sure that your enable server API is set to true it's a boolean parameter and what it does that it enables the server API in next years to actually download the Instagram videos whenever you submit so just make sure this option is set to true don't make it false then this application will not work so all these options need to be true enable web page enable GraphQL API enable server API so just this is located in the config folder and then there is this file Instagram TypeScript file so just make sure that it's set to true and these are different components out there navigation bar footer so this can be a very good website if you want to rank it for Instagram video downloader and we were talking about this form so what it this form does guys basically it does a post request we have this input field out there and then we have this download button so what this download button does basically it downloads the video and it takes four options type submit title is this and is loading is it is a boolean parameter and uh, then we have this form so when the form submits we actually execute this function which is handle submit and here we are actually making this function which is an async function so once this application start I think it has started so if I check now localhost 3001 so basically guys you will see that you can take any video for example copy link address here paste it
so it will directly download you will see that guys you don't need to redirect the user it will directly download this video and now you can open this video in the video player so i think it's a very good application guys and all the source code is given with this full application the link is given you can directly purchase it from paypal and in united states dollar or go to stripe and make the payment in indian rupees and if you see basically and you can do it for any video for example you can search it it should be a video it doesn't work with instagram post it needs to be a video so it downloads all your videos at one place it's a great tool you can do it unlimited number of time you will see that so basically here we are actually preventing the auto submission of the form then we are resetting the value and we are changing the loading value from false to true by using this hook function which is set is loading for and set error message so let me show you these uh, the data which we are having so we are basically having some data for our component these are the component data post url which is actual post which is submitted by the user and error message to show is loading so these are three state variables that we are using in our next js application guys for the ui user interface and here we are using react use state hook and for handling the error basically we are setting this error message if anything goes wrong then we are simply saying to the user something went wrong please try again if for some reason it doesn't work then we say that we have also have this clear button which actually actually if you click it it will reset the field so it does something like this so if you click the clear button it will what it does it basically set the post url and set error message to empty and here we are actually having this we are executing this function which is download post video we are passing this post url that is submitted by the user as a argument and then once the video is downloaded we are once again changing the is loading from true to false you can see that so here we are calling this download post video function if you check so now this comes it guys download post video so here we are actually making a call if you see first of all we are whatever we are calling is valid form input to simply check that whether the file is valid or not if you check we are actually using the same regular expression which includes instagram https so these are all regular expression to check that if it's a valid url or not if it is a valid url then it will say url does not match instagram post or reel it works with reels as well guys it also works with reels if you want to download reels as well you can even does that also so it also works with reels also sorry i you just need to go to reels you can just basically i think it just yeah it does we it does work with reels let me copy this paste it yeah it does work with reels as well guys so instagram video reels downloader it supports the both the reels and videos so depending upon whichever thing that you want to download you can just need to copy link address and paste it and basically what it will does it will simply do this you will see that so it will actually download this reel for you it's a very handy tool guys and uh, i am just giving the script the link is given you can purchase it and then basically what we are doing and here in this function we are actually calling this function which is fetch video info action this function we are calling and we are having this download file function to actually download the file as an attachment so this function we are calling which actually have the url we are converting it to blob and create object url and then we are starting the file download 
So as you can see, we are including this fetch video action, which comes from this lib Instagram actions fetch video info. If you check, basically we are fetching first of all the info of the video. It is located in this folder, if you see, which is lib library folder, Instagram actions and fetch video info. So basically we are having, we are basically fetching the info of the video in a post JSON response. So all these files are interconnected with each other guys. It's a complete project. So I can't basically show you line by line whichever code that I made. It's a scraper guys you will see. So we have basically GraphQL, we have used helpers, web page. It's a complete project and uh, I think you will enjoy. I also integrated late limited rate limiter as well. If you deploy this application, if the users makes too much request in a short interval of time, they will also get a notice that you sh cannot make that much request. So rate limiting is also there in built in, in inbuilt in this application. So the link is given guys, you can directly purchase it from PayPal or Stripe in USD or Indian rupees. Both the payment links are given. So I think guys you will enjoy it and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.